Hi everyone, this is Emily Leapart from Art from the Heart. Welcome to our next Too Many Cards video. Catherine Pooler Designs is our generous sponsor and we're featuring the gorgeous Amber's World Bundle and Life of the Party Mini Ink Set. I have a weakness for globes, atlases, and maps, and I still remember the first globe my parents bought me. It was a topographical globe so you could see and feel the depths of the oceans and height of the mountain ranges. When I saw this floral globe, I fell in love with this set. I love that there are so many individual images that can be used to accentuate the globe or create other floral arrangements as you'll see in one of my cards. As you already know, I love sentiments with a combination of scripted and classic fonts. These ones are perfect for friends and loved ones. I just love the colors in the Life of the Party mini ink set. I have most if not all of these in the full size ink pads, which I prefer for stamping, but since watercoloring is my first choice for coloring images these days, having minis makes it so much easier to put down color on a craft sheet. If you're not familiar with Catherine Pooler inks, be sure to visit CatherinePooler.com and click on the About the Ink link to learn all about their amazing properties. Not only do they stamp perfectly, they're also incredibly vibrant and double as embossing ink. They react beautifully with water, which is why I love watercoloring with them. There's so much more, so definitely check them out. The first thing I do is stamp all of the images using Midnight Ink. I tap lightly on the stamps and the ink covers them easily. The reason I have to re-ink a couple of times is because I'm stamping on watercolor cardstock, which is a little lumpy. Having the Misty Stamping Tool makes it easy to re-ink and stamp in the same spot when needed. After heat embossing with Sparkle Embossing Powder, I flip the panel 180 degrees and repeat the process for the second set of images. It's a little hard to see the sparkle on camera, but I love the subtlety of it, especially on black. Now I can start watercoloring. The first thing I do is arrange the inks in rainbow order on my craft sheet and smoosh the ink pads down on the craft sheet. I ended up using seven of the eight colors in the set, which I was very happy about. I wet my brush and dip it into the inks and start coloring. I start with the flowers by blending with Party Dress, Tutti Frutti, Tiki Torch, and Tiara. I color in the leaves with Lime Ricky, then fill in the globe itself with Aquatini and Something Borrowed. I'm going to put on some music and fast forward through the coloring process. After the images are dry, I die cut them using the Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine. For the first card, I stamp and heat emboss the sentiment that reads, You make the world a better place. This is done on watercolor cardstock so I can watercolor a background in Aquatini and something borrowed which will coordinate with the globe on the other card. I basically used a large brush and colored in frames alternating between Aquatini and something borrowed as I got closer to the center of the rectangle. Then I dried the panel with my heat tool. After arranging the flowers, I start adhering them to the panel with glue dots and foam tape. When that's done, I cut a black mat to place behind the panel. I cut out another panel for the card base, and I want to add some texture to it with the Mod Squared stencil. Here's the sandwich I use in the Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine. First, I place the platform, then I place the stencil. Then I place the cardstock on top of the stencil, making sure it's straight. You can use some removable tape to hold it in place, but I opted not to. Then I place the tan embossing mat and the blue embossing plate. I run the sandwich through the die cutting machine, and look how the stencil embossed the cardstock. Isn't it amazing? I just love how this looks. It's a great way to get more versatility from your stencils. I adhere the panels to the card base with the tape runner, score tape, and foam tape. I love the combination of a textured matte, watercolored panel, and layered flower clusters highlighting the beautiful sentiment. For my second card, I'm going to create some patterned paper in colors that coordinate with the globe image. I'm using a plaid background stamp for this and stamping it in three colors. I've removed the foam mat from my Misty stamping tool so it can accommodate the rubber cling background. I place it down and ink up a portion of the stamp so I can place the cardstock face down. I put a piece of scrap paper down and press on it evenly to transfer the ink onto the panel. It's so quick and easy and looks fantastic. I start with Tutti Frutti, then repeat the process with Tiki Torch and Aquatini. Now I'm using the Hill die from the Winter Haven dies to cut layers of the stamped plaid background. For the bottom layer in Aquatini, I place the big curve in the middle, 
Then I shift it over to the right for Tiki Torch, and then to the left for the top Tutti Frutti layer. Next, I adhere all the layers together with a tape runner and position it on the card base. I choose a sentiment that nestles nicely between the globe and the layered plaid anchor. This one reads, You are my world, and prepare to stamp and heat emboss it directly onto the linen card base. I wrap a silver cord around the base of the globe and apply a micro glue dot under the knot to hold the bow in place. Then I trim the tails. I apply foam tape to the back of the plaid anchor and use my design ruler to help me center onto the panel. Then I apply foam tape to the back of the globe and attach that to the card. To finish, I'm going to use a corner chomper to round out three of the four corners. I use the half inch rounder on the bottom two corners and the quarter inch rounder on the top right corner. Now my cards are done, and here they are side by side. I used the same color theme for both, using seven of the eight colors from the Life of the Party Mini Ink Collection. Both card designs are clean and simple, and use different elements from the Amber's World Bundle. Adding the plaid background stamp to create coordinating pattern paper and the mod squared stencil to create texture are fun additions for visual interest. Before I go, I wanted to mention that the Amber's World stamps and dies sold individually are 50% off for a limited time at Catherine Pooler Designs. The mod squared stencil is also discounted, so if you're interested in these products, click on the supply links below and grab them while you can. Be sure to leave a comment here and on Kaylin's YouTube video for your chance to win the Amber's World Bundle and Life of the Party Mini Ink Set. Comments will close on April 7th, 2019, and the winner will be announced before our next two mini cards videos go live. Please check back to see if you've won. Thanks so much for watching!